out we go. World champion Jackie Hicks is followed by car number two, that of Stefan Beloff. Number three, that's our camera car. Derek Bell, our driver, talks us through the lap. Now here we are, just about to begin a lap of the famous Nürburgring motor circuit in the Eiffel Mountains, a 20 kilometre lap. We're coming up, in fact, to finish the last corner of the, that particular lap. Sweeping past the pit, second gear, up to third, over Little Brow, down into a second gear corner for this left-hand corner, medium speed corner, accelerating out with a little bit of wheel spin. In fact, this is called the Hudsonbach as we go down the mountain. This is the first bit, the sweep of lefts, rights, all the way down through. Uh, we've got to speed around about 140 miles an hour down through here. We're starting to get a little twisty. This is the main part of the hats and back. Third gear all the way through here, off the throttle, on the throttle, a dab of the brakes. And then this bit here, in fact, is the tightest part of the hats and back. Accelerate through in third gear, low revs, and then brake and down to second. This bit, in fact, leads us down the hill towards the flug plants. We're up to third gear, fourth gear, and I was getting fifth, just going over this bridge. At this place, we're doing around about 170 miles an hour. Flugplatz, very famous brow. It's vital to clear the Flugplatz well because you've got a double right-hander following this and it's absolutely imperative to get onto the long downhill sweeps which lead you down through Cottenburn down to Schwedenkreuz. This is very, very fast section as you can see and in fact is probably as fast as the main straight, over 190 miles an hour. Dab the brakes here th over this brow in fifth gear and down into a 180 degree right-hander called Aremberg. This is a third gear corner quite slow but accelerates and is very important because following this we have the very famous foxhole or Fuchsrohr in German. We go down here very fast. Oh, there incident is Jackie Itz. He in fact is on his qualifying lap and I followed him for a little way but he's going very fast indeed because he doesn't have a camera in the car. Here we go in the bottom of the Fuchsrohr, up the other side, fourth gear, accelerate a bit down to third, sweep through here in third gear and then second gear through Adenauer Forest. So it's a little bit tight through here. Accelerate out in second gear up to third and then up to fourth gear. It's quite tricky through here because the cambers are very tricky on this, so particularly with the ground effect car. So here we are, in fact, going through a very difficult left-hander again, which is a fourth gear corner very fast. Now down to third gear, and we're leading down to a place called Callenhardt. Over here, it's really quite difficult because you cannot see just exactly the line. Brake a little bit, down through third gear, accelerating, very important around the Nürburgring going to be smooth at all times because the cambers do lead you astray a bit. We're now on our way down to Adenauer Bridge. Now just look at that view. Where else in the world does a circuit have a view like that? The wonderful panoramic view of the Nürburgring. This is a very difficult corner we're coming up to now. It's in fact very slow. It's a third gear leading into a sharp left-hander. In fact, we take this in second gear. It's very difficult to get the power down as we sweep through here. Here we are, working our way down to the actual bridge itself, the famous Adenauer Bridge, which crosses over uh, the main road here, actually the village of Adenauer Benefis.